Alright, good morning. Today I'm going to test out this uh, Tesla CCS adapter um, and compare it to this Charger Man adapter and see how the, both these do. I'm at a DC fast charging station. Uh, this one's only 50 kilowatts, but um, it's, uh, it's basically the best we have around here. Um, so I drove here, used 5.5% of my battery, 2.4% of which was uh, due to driving. I gained 2% because I went downhill, and I've spent 4.6% warming up the battery. Um, so we'll see now how we do and get these two adapters hooked up. So here's the Charger Man adapter. Um, comes in a little package and I guess a bag. Um, certainly not as fancy as Tesla's. But we can get this out, compare the two. Okay. So to start, definitely have different shapes. Um, it's got the five leads. Looks okay. There's uh, no writing on it at all, um, whereas the Tesla, you know, has ratings and whatnot. Um, this is 250 kilowatt max, and I don't know what this is. I'll have to read the manual. About the same weight, so hopefully this thing works. Okay, it's beeping, and now it says connected, connecting. Okay, success. Or charging. Okay, so that's interesting. All it says, ah, there it is. It's there. So forty five kilowatt hours, or excuse me, kilowatts. So on the app it says it's 60 kilowatts. And we'll can see if that goes up. And I won't bore you. Alright, so it's working so far. Alright, so Charger Man adapter is working. Getting 45 kilowatts at the moment. Okay, so this is a go station charger. Um, still charging with the Charger Man. So five minutes of charge, 3.8 kilowatt hours, and it's reading my battery, which I didn't know it can do. Uh, it's at 69%. So so far so good. Switch to the Tesla adapter here soon. Still only getting 45 kilowatts. Alright, so we're about 10 minutes. Let's just push any button. Okay. Go ahead and stop. Alright. this guy out. Well, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. <clears throat> and switch them up. I just wanted to show this. The Tesla goes in and with a good click. Um, 
whereas this the other one clips on top. And it's actually really difficult to get the Tesla adapter off. Um, so we'll go ahead and plug it in. See if we don't get any errors. There we go. So we're gonna plug in. And let's see. We have to start a new session. says push start. Tap your card on the reader. Beeping. Connecting. And charging. Okay, here we go. Okay, back in the car. Using the Tesla charger. And Yep, still only 45 kilowatts. So they're performing equally. Um, and so far, so good.